Welcome back everyone to another Fishing Planet video from Judgment Day. Today we are going to Weeping Willow Fisheries in the United Kingdom after the Colossus Carp. For the first mission you're going to need to catch six unique carp. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can use the same bait to catch all the uniques except the hybrid. That one will probably be your most difficult one to catch. The complete cost to go to Weeping Willow will run you 20,000, so make sure you have everything that you need to go here. With the right gear loadout, uh, the unique carp on this lake are pretty plentiful, so you'll actually catch them back to back. It's just a little difficult to get all six of them. Now this is actually the first time that I've been to Weeping Willow, so I never been here never fished any of this area had no idea about carp rods any of that stuff so this was all a learning experience for me as well to come here and uh, I've went through all the steps that you need to do to make the perfect loadouts to catch these fish fast I messed around with a lot of the recipes, uh, comparing this, putting this together. The one thing that you have to be careful with is to pay attention to your rod and what it's able to throw out. Uh, if you put too much weight on it, you could break your rod. So that's something that you have to kind of pay attention to where I made a lot of different ones trying to figure out how to do all this. Now if you paid attention at the beginning of the video, uh, I started out at 780,000 and I've spent about 300,000 
buying all different kinds of gear going through a bunch of stuff to kind of try to show you uh, all the different variants that you could do uh, I didn't do any good with the bottom rods uh, nothing of significant uh, size uh, but this setup right here is what I did the best with and caught all my uniques on so pretty much all you need to do is buy two deep horizon bottom poles for the carp set it up with uh, your line to match the rod, uh, rod and reel weight uh, use your camouflage sinkers use your uh, carp leader and your carp hooks I went with the ADOP because I figured and everything with the bigger carp, the uniques, uh, I didn't want to deal with a lot of smaller fish, so going with an ADOT and a 6 ot I was able to uh, limit how many small fish I caught and was catching bigger fish. Now the best baits that I uh, found out to be is the Spices Sinking and the Tiger Nut. Uh, I caught most of my uniques on the Tiger Nut though. Now another nice little feature that I found out, uh, you can actually save your loadout on your poles if you want to get rid of something that you're carrying along with you and you can place it in one of your templates. Uh, so you can deconstruct your pool to make a different pool and when you want to go back to that and all that you have it saved on your template which I found very useful. Now I went ahead and bought the spot rod just out of curiosity, uh, I've never used it, never really seen anybody use it either. Uh, I did see that it increased the amount of fish that you catch faster, but when I wasn't using it I really didn't see that big of a difference. Now I thought I'd leave all this in here just so uh, it might actually save you all some um, money as well as time by watching this uh, because like I said starting out it's kind of a pain and everything like that to go through all the stuff and figure out what you need to do, how things work, uh, what baits and bullies go for what. Uh, like I said I spent quite a bit of money and everything like that trying to figure it out to make this video so everybody can see.
Now, now when I was starting out and all that, uh, I was back and forth, in and out, uh, probably about five times and all that, trying to tweak this to where I actually could start catching fish continuously. Uh, one thing about the carp is they're very alert or aware, so you have to use a lot of equipment that's pretty much invisible in the water, or you're just going to sit there forever and not even get a bite. Now if you don't plan on carp fishing a lot, I would probably just say uh, buy the two Deep Horizon uh, carp rods and put your bottom reel on your carp rod. Uh, 57 is what I use and all that for my bottom pulls so it fit right with the Deep Horizon. Now the benefit of using the Deep Horizon is you don't have to mix your baits or put them in a, a feeder. Um, like I said, I used a spod rod just to kind of try it out and see how it was, but I really didn't see that big of a difference.
as you can see I ran into an issue where the bait was too heavy and everything for the setup that I had um, so I took the bait off of one of my bottom pulls but um, I used the heavier bait in the spod rod and it says it has a chance to damage it but it, I never had it happen I did a little bit of damage and everything like that but it didn't break it Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future videos. Uh, my next video will be of uh, all the unique carp. And then I'll have another video and all that with the uh, Colossus uh, carp after that.